Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. You may notice that I am not on my island right now and this is because I am on Lex Play's beautiful island. Hello. Hi. Now why you may ask? Because today Lex is challenging me to a build of her choice and I am simply here to get my instructions. But before I do, I am also giving Alex a build challenge, so be sure to check out her video over on her channel to see the spicy challenge that I gave her. First of all, before we get into all of this stuff, for the people at home, Lex, where can we find you? Where can we follow you for the people who may not be familiar with you already? Okay, so I am Lex Play on YouTube. You can check out my video descriptions to see everywhere else I am because I'm everywhere on the internet pretty much now, but also, I just want to point out, look at our look at our matching boots. Oh, I just them. noticed. All right, so what exactly am I going to be building on my island today? What what are my instructions? Please hand them to me. Okay, so I was thinking that, you know, you kind of have a whole vibe and it's frogs. And I was like, you know, what is my vibe? What's the vibe for me? And I decided to stick with animals. And I was like, you know what, cats, that's what I'm most passionate about in life, both in real life and Animal Crossing, is just the cats for me. So you have to make a cat-themed build using two items that are very mysterious that I will give to you. Are you ready oh. for them? Okay, I love cats too. I got cats on my own, so I am not opposed to this at all. But yes, show me show me the items. I'm I'm actually terrified a little bit. Okay, let's go. The first one I've never seen in a build before, and the second one should be helpful. Oh, okay. Enjoy. So one one terrible one and one good one. Okay. What is this? <laughs> is this a fish? Yeah. I don't know. It what... is. Oh no. <laughs> Is this one of some of those fish look so ugly? It's oh my not god. Ugly. That's so rude. It's, I can't even pronounce the fish's name. Yeah, I don't this know how to say that either. <laughs> okay. Oh, and this one is useful. Oh, okay. Nice. I yeah. actually I actually had one of these to include already, so that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, well, um I'm going to have to see what this fish looks like. I can't think of it off the top of my head. That's going to be just just great. Absolutely. <laughs> so I guess I will head on over to my island and I will do the build. I guess you can come and swing by later to see my work of art and to see I whatever will. whatever this fish is. Will. Heck okay. yeah. See ya. Now I have to deal with this fish model that she gave me. Oh my god. I was not expecting that to be honest, but I feel like we can make it work because I don't know, cats like fish. I'm just praying that this is not that big or not that um ugly looking oh my goodness okay the dark color doesn't really fit in with leapfrog's aesthetic what can i do i i have to make it work all right so since i have to do a cat theme build i think i'm gonna do a little cat park like how people have dog parks on their islands or you know in real life i'm gonna do a cat park and i think i'm gonna go ahead and do it on this rock and maybe extend it onto this little kind of chunk of beach because this is like really weirdly shaped and I don't know what I'm going to put on here anyways. So to get started, I think I'm just going to go ahead and of course remove these flowers. Okay, so here we go. Everything is all cleared and I went and grabbed a bunch of items so we can just start getting to work. Sadly, I do not have that many or actually any cat themed design codes. I have a lot of frogs. Um, I even have a little rubber ducky and a little carrot but i don't have any cats sadly i'm just gonna make do just do my basics little wooden what are these called again i almost call them stepping stones you know what these are little planks i don't think cats are gonna play hopscotch so i won't do the hopscotch um but they definitely love chasing bugs around at least my cats do so there will be plenty of these and my cats also love playing with like pieces of paper and like literal junk so i'm gonna put these little like polaroid designs around too put these around so maybe it's like they're playing with little you know balled up pieces of paper or just you know messing with my mail that i leave on the table and then they knock it on the floor of course i want some vertical height so i'm gonna try to do a little tree standy the rocks are pretty oddly shaped so i might have a hard time making things centered and making things i don't know <laughs> look extra nice so I'm just gonna try my best. Okay, so for the next vertical height item that I want to include is of course 
a little cat tower or a scratching post or whatever you want to call it. Okay, next I'm going to go in with some fencing around the sides just to kind of section it off and be like, hey, this is a this is a cat only zone. So we're just gonna extend this onto the beach as well. And I'm actually gonna replace one of these fences and I'm gonna go ahead and put this little sign right here. So I don't have any more custom design slot space, not a single spot left. So I decided to do just a little shop sign, a wooden sign, and it actually, the default one has a cat on it. And that works out so perfectly for me. Like you have no idea. I'm just gonna sneak some little design codes underneath of the fences. I feel like that is super cute. I love doing this. And then I'm gonna put another cat tower over here just so there's multiple for all the kitties. And I'm gonna face it out towards the ocean so it's kind of like this is where they stare if they want to look out solemnly into the ocean waiting for their partners to return from the war. And of course every cat needs a place to go so uh, here's the litter box right there and ignore the puddle underneath of it it's not what you think but let's get some boxes going to kind of fill up some space here is one nice little cardboard box my cats absolutely love being inside of boxes whenever i get like a package i always just like throw the box on the floor for them and they just go nuts so on top of it i'm gonna put some cat grass you know gotta include some of the few items that are actually cat themed in this game I don't know what Nintendo has against cats, but it's kind of rude if you ask me. Then I also have this little pet food bowl. There's not actual plushies of cats in this game, but the closest thing that there is are the little paper tigers and honestly, it works. So these are going to be our little cats and this little buddy is going to be trying to get some food. So here he is. He's just... He's living his best life. And yes, I am procrastinating, including the fish model in here. I just, I, I, I can't think about it right now, okay? But you know, I guess I do have to think about it. Let's actually do that right now before I just absolutely don't know what to do, you know? I think I'm gonna have it just be, I don't know, like a little, a little fish area, I guess, for the cats. Um, they love watching the fish. So I'm gonna try to do like a little puddle area over here if I can manage to squeeze it in. These rocks are so weird when it comes to like the designs and the spacing of everything. But yeah, here we go. Here's a little puddle. Let me get rid of this. And then we must include our very special little fish boy. Wait, let me, let me put down another puddle first. This man is fresh out of the water fresh uh and he's like so humongous too which just makes it just so much better so much better okay so he does fit kind of right there but let me see if i can just shove him up a little bit more okay so <laughs> there he is and then to go along with it so it's not it's like super out of the blue i got this little brine shrimp aquarium so here's like another little like fish themed kind of thing. I'm gonna put down another little paper tiger and uh, this bad boy I guess he can be the one who's like playing with them and then this center gap is looking pretty empty and it looks like it's at least four tiles so you know what I'm putting here. You already know. Ignore. Ignore this. I- oh my god I've been messing up so much. Okay don't look at this. Hold on. I'll fix this. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We got a little flower in the middle. Very cute. So the other item that we need to include is the little golden lucky cat. So I feel like, I feel like that can just easily go maybe over here. Maybe I'll swap it with this cat grass. I was going to put it over here, but there's a lot of like yellow and orange from the pet food bowl and the tiger and the cardboard box. So I don't want to include another like yellow hue. Oh, and this this is a big boy. I didn't know how big he was. And then I actually have a blue cat grass, I believe. So let's try this one. Oh yeah, I like that. Kind of like to break up the warm tones like I was talking about. We need more of like a little park theme in here. Um, I can include this little springy ride on even though I feel like cats wouldn't really like use this. But if we need park vibes, you know, like you gotta do what you gotta do. And then let's do a little trash can right near the litter box because, oh boy, it probably needs it. Okay, so I think that is good for the rocks. And now I kind of want to work on this little beach area. We don't really have that much 
going on here. So I feel like this is going to be pretty quick. But let's still put some stuff on the outside just to kind of decorate it. Okay, I went and grabbed some more items. And you know, when I was looking at the mom's plushies, one of them kind of does look like a little cat. Or like a little lion or something. I don't know. This one has whiskers, so it's... It's a cat now, I guess. And I'm gonna shove him right in this little gap right here, just kind of like greeting you as you walk in. He's kind of, he's kind of hanging off the edge there. My dude. <laughs> that looks pretty funny. Okay, let's pull him back. There we go. And then I'm gonna do another springy ride on over here. Again, just kind of like for the park. And I have another tree standy, and I don't know what to put on this rock, so I'm putting it on this rock. Just actually gonna add some little leaves if they fit anywhere on here. And then we put this back on. Let me see if I can push it over. Ooh, I'm actually surprised I was able to do that. Oh, and I can push it back. Can I push it to the right? Will it let me? Oh my goodness, we can. Nice. Do I have room for something else? A little sneaky cardboard box. Oh my god. Look how much we're fitting on this rock right now. And then let's do the other cat grass that I have. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Nice. I didn't think I would actually be able to use this little tiny rock, but I did. But okay, I think that's that's the build. This is what I came up with for Lexa's challenge, cat themed and incorporating the two items that she gave me. So this is like a little cat park or cat daycare, whichever you want to call it. So over here, we have the little fish viewing area. They can, you know, look and play at this little aquarium and just kind of like tap at it. And they have this big fish. I don't know if it's just a moth or it's an actual fish. I don't know how he's breathing. Don't ask me. And then we have a little lucky cat for good luck for all the kitties. We have a little springy ride on and of course we have cat trees, food, cat grass, which is probably just catnip. And then we have, you know, where they gotta go if they gotta go. And then down here, it's just this. This is what it is down here. But I think it came out good. It's a nice little use of this space, to be honest. I feel like this is really good, really cute, like not too complicated, not too crazy, but it fills up these little kind of like weird spaces really nicely. These rocks are always kind of difficult to build on, I feel like, and especially this like little tiny patch of beach and this little itty bitty rock. I can't believe I've made this work. That is gonna be it for this. So now I'm gonna call Lex and we're gonna get her back on the island and she can come and see my handiwork and see how I incorporate her items that she gave me so well. So let's go and uh, invite her on to the island again. Hi. Hello. Welcome it's back. It's me. I'm back. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so ready. I can't wait till you see what I've done with the place. All right. So our little cat build is all the way at the back of the island. Just follow me. And we'll be there momentarily. Don't look at all this mess right here. It doesn't exist. I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. This oh is... God, it starts out with a little cat grass. Yes. This is a little cat park, kind of. Or cat I resort. I love it. Look at all the little custom designs, too. It's so colorful and bright. Thank you, thank also, you. look at the little fish model. It looks perfect here. See, I really helped enhance the build. Yeah, like yeah. Uh-huh. Look at him go. This is so precious. I love all the different references to cats from the plants to like the little cat towers and the tiger. Even yeah. the sign. Wow. Because I don't have any custom design slots left and I didn't yeah. know if we could use them anyway. So this is just the default one and it just it worked out perfectly. It did. This is so precious. Thank you. What an honor to have influenced this corner of Leapfrog. Yep. It's uh, the Lex, Lex cat corner. I'd say out of 10, um, at least 12. At least 12? Okay. Yeah. Wow. So 12 plus out of 10. Oh my goodness. Final Thank rating. you. Thank you for blessing You're welcome. the cat corner. All the cats are blessed. It might even be immortal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, they do not have like cat plushies or like cat. I don't know. I don't even know if this is a cat. I don't know what this is, but it has whiskers. So I was like, okay, you're a cat now. It looks like a little flower lion. Yeah. I feel like he counts. He counts. Yeah, he's in the cat family. And then the tigers. Oh, they bob their heads. I, I didn't, didn't know. know they were bobbleheads. Me what? neither. Oh my god, look at him go. 
He's head banging right now. He's head banging. So that is going to be it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this fun collab that I did with Alex. And don't forget to check out her video because her builds came out super duper cute. If you want to see me do more collabs or uh, build challenges like this, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And also like this video because that lets me know that you want to see more. And feel free to toss any ideas that you have down there as well. All my social media links, Discord server, merch link will be down below in the description. So please check it out. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.